Practical wisdom tells us that the secret of any sound business is to plan for the future based on the realities of today. But the pages of Ayala's 175-year history prove that it's not only about anticipating what's probable, but imagining what's possible. The story begins in 1834. The Philippines was just a fledgling economy and only a few companies chose to invest in the country itself. But two adventurous men took that risk by staking the future on a startup business called Casa Rojas. Under the daring leadership of Domingo Rojas and Antonio de Ayala, it wasn't long before the company had a firm foothold on the budding economy, establishing the country's first distillery and venturing into agriculture. But it was their participation in the banking industry that really changed the local landscape of the time. With Ayala on board, El Banco Español Filipino de Isabel II made history by printing the first Philippine banknote. For the first time, Filipinos were paying for goods with their own peso bills. In 1912, the bank would be renamed Bank of the Philippine Islands. In its early decades, Ayala's course was navigated by men and women who followed their instincts against the odds, and much to the surprise of their peers. One brave move was to purchase of a vast tract of land that was thought to be marginally productive and much too far from Manila Center. They named it Hacienda Makati. The turn of the century was an exciting time to be entrepreneurial. Ayala y Compañía welcomed the 1900s with enterprises that would set the pace of the times. The country's first public transportation system, the first Filipino-owned insurance company, and then residential developments in and around Manila. But the enterprising spirit that drove Ayala's growth at the time was suddenly stifled when the Pacific War broke. Not long after the war, Ayala's real estate business was reinvigorated when Joseph R. McMicking unveiled an astonishing development plan that would change the landscape of Makati and of the nation. By the early 70s, with breakthroughs that would set new standards in residential and commercial development, Makati became the business center of the entire country. McMicking's master plan would be the framework of Ayala Land's future ventures, where spaces are turned into complete communities fueling urban progress. This combination of strategic thinking and boldness of vision would propel Ayala's expansion beyond the command of its early generations of leaders. In 1973, Ayala invested in Globe Mackay Cable and Radio Corporation, marking its first foray into telecommunications. This would later give rise to Globe Telecom, which revolutionized the way people communicate. By 1976, Ayala was being run by working professionals, enthusiastic about the myriad opportunities the world had to offer. Partnerships were forged within and across borders, including one with the Mitsubishi Group, which paved the way for Ayala's enterprises in the automotive and manufacturing industry. Partnerships like these were key in diversifying the business and have become crucial turning points in Ayala's history. In 1980s, people were busier and time became the most precious commodity of all. Yet, to perform any bank transaction, 
It was routine to spend a good part of the day standing in line. Ayala changed this when BPI introduced the Express Teller, the nation's first automated teller machine network. Today, many more innovations are making the banking experience easier and more convenient. While the technology of wireless communication was unimaginable in the 80s, Ayala, through Globe's innovations, made it possible for people to stay connected without constraint. Ayala has set out to make its bold innovations work for every Filipino. In 1997, a successful bid for Manila's water and sewage concession established Manila Water Company, Ayala's first public utility company. Its success in turning the enterprise around signified the company's intent to make the Ayala brand of service and commitment available to a vast majority of Filipinos. With the Ayala Social Initiatives as guidepost, the past few years have been distinguished by the passionate commitment of each of the Ayala companies to empower every Filipino to dream bigger in a world that seems to be getting smaller. Over the past 175 years, Ayala has grown and nurtured businesses that have given rise to many life-changing innovations for Filipinos. Today, Ayala's businesses are aligned in strategic industries, and it is poised to take advantage of emerging opportunities spurred by a restless and relentless drive to create a future where progress touches the life of every Filipino. The dream may seem daunting, but Ayala has already been taking steps to make it a reality. It's a dream of a nation where every child has a chance for a bright future, where every family has a place to call home, where everyone can pursue their own dreams and believe they can come true. There are people who believe such a thing isn't possible. But Ayala has never been afraid to dream big just because it seems impossible right now. But just think, 175 years ago, many of the things we have today seem impossible. The future has always been in the hands of those who can give tomorrow's generations a great reason to hope. Impossible is only a temporary obstacle if we dare to dream, if we're willing to work, if we continue to hold true to our vision of not just what tomorrow can be, but what it should be. Can we do it? I personally never stop believing in it.